Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to our class. This is our class of a chapter 11 that is surface area and volumes. This is our class third that is depends on the volume of the right circular cone. So first of all in our first class we have studied about the surface area of a sphere. Next one we have cl class second we have studied about the surface area of a sphere. In our class first we have studied about the surface area of right circular cone. So in our third class it is mainly on the volume of the right circular cone. So let's get start this class. So first of all a definition of it that the right circular cone, the right circular cone is a cone where the axis where the axis of the cone is the line meeting the vertex to the to the midpoint of the circular base that is the center point the center point of the circular base is joined This is joined with the apex with the apex of the cone and it forms a forms a right angle. So what is cone? So first of all what we have understood, we have to understand what is a right circular cone. When we, under, we only ask you what is cone, so a cone is a cone is a 3D or a 3 dimensional three dimensional shape having a circular base. and narrowing smoothly <coughs> sorry to a point above the base this point is known as this point is known as what it is known as apex so when we are going to make a diagram so the diagram is this is a base of it and this is the apex in the same way this is the line of the right circular cone this is the right circular cone so what this is the radius this is the axis and the name is height of the cone. This is a vertex or apex. And this is a slant height. Now. The next one is surface area of a right circle cone. After that, we have studied about the volume. So, first of all, revise it. Now, we are going to our main topic that is the volume of the right circle cone. So, the surface area surface area of a right circular cone is the sum of the 
is the sum of the area of the base area of the base and lateral surface area of a cone the surface area is measured in terms of square units means you have to put unit in the form of meter square centimeter square any type but of it is of square units only so the formula is that is pi r square plus pi r r l that is area of the base and the curved surface area so when we where l is equals to under root h square plus r is square and when we common pi r then the formula becomes pi r plus r that is the total surface area next one is the volume of the right circular cone what is this is our main topic that is volume of cone so the volume of the cone is the is 1/3 of the product of the area of the base of the base and the and the height of the cone the volume is the the volume of it is base area that is pi r square hence the volume is 1 by 3 product of pi r square h product of the area and the height of it and the one third of it so here we understand about the what is the volume of the right circular cone the here are we are going to study about the some properties of the right circular cone that is properties of right circular cone first one is it has a circular base what it has a circular base whose center joins its vertex showing the axis of the axis of the respective cone next one is the slant height the slant height of this cone is the length of the length of the sides of the cone taken from vertex to the outer line 
of the circular base it is denoted by l what a slant height is denoted by l only and what is a slant height it is defined here only so the third property is the attitude the attitude of a right cone is the the perpendicular line from the vertex to the center of the base it coincides with the axis of the cone and is and it's represented by h understand what we have learned we have learned about the height we have learned about the radius and now we have learned about the slant height and the last and not the least here we have completed our main topic means we have learned about the theory part of it now we are going to do some numericals that are related to it the first numerical is find the find the surface area of the right circular cone if the given radius is 6 cm and the slant height is 10 cm so the solution of it is that given slant height is equals to 10 cm and the radius is 6 cm so the surface area is equals to what we have learned we have learned that it is what surface area is the pi r plus l plus r so let's get put the uh, of it so here the value of pi is 1.4 into r that is 6 uh, upon bracket 10 plus 6 add after that 3.14 into 6 into 16 that is overall we have got the answer 301.44 square centimeter or other word we can also rewrite it as 301.44 centimeter square understand now we are going to do our next numerical that is based on this only that is question calculate the volume calculate the volume of the right circular cone for the given radius 6 cm and height 10 cm so so here it is given what given that is radius is 6 cm and height that is 10 cm 
so when we ask about volume so volume what is it is a product of one third product of area into height so put the values of it 1 by 3 into and the value of pi we are putting 3.14 into a radius we are putting two time because the square is given and the height it is 10 so by solving whole of it we are getting into 12 into 10 that is 376.8 cm cube or in other word we can write 376.8 cubic cubic centimeter so these both are in the same way but writing in a different type so here we have completed our third topic or a third class that is depends on the volume of the right circular cone so we are going to in this class we have studied about the volume we have studied about the right circular cone as well as its formula and also some numericals so we are meet you soon in our fourth class that is based on the uh, volume of the sphere so thank you so much thank you.